Members of the Philippine Army with a joint U.S. K-9 training team conducted bilateral K-9 training in the Schofield or Schofield base near Wahiwa, Hawaii. And our correspondent from Hawaii, Desa Senes, gives us the details. Some members of the Philippine Army connected with the Military Working Dog Program are here in Hawaii to train with their counterparts from the U.S. Army Pacific. Canine experts from the 520th Military Working Dogs Detachment demonstrated various phases of controlled aggression and ways of handling them. The handlers worked with German Shepherds and Belgian Malinois, both breeds being traditionally used as military working dogs or MWDs. This is the second phase of training for the U.S. and the Philippine military working dog handlers. The last training conducted was in 2011. It aims to observe and learn from each other's procedures and resources. Uh, the USUPAC has a very, very large initiative with uh, trying to partner with our um, partner with nations within the region, and so when uh, when the scheduling allows for both of uh, both of our militaries to get together, get on the same page. Uh, it, you know, sometimes it'll be more frequently. It might be every every year uh, or every other year, just depending on uh, what the schedules look like. So, it is very important to uh, to foster this relationship since uh, with our allies to you know, try to get uh, you know exchange ideas, improve training on both sides, not only from uh, what we can teach the Philippines, but what the Philippine Army can teach us as well. While the Philippine Army likewise employs the same dog breeds, they have also incorporated and utilized Philippine local dogs known as Aspin or Asong Pinoy to complement the work done by traditional MWDs. Some of our Aspins uh, have already uh, proven to the, that, they can, uh, that they, they can accomplish their task. Uh, some of our units, online units, uh, can attest to this that uh, our Aspin have given them a, a, a great, uh, great uh, accomplishment, a good accomplishment because uh, they were able to track uh, this, uh, our enemies. Traditional MWDs are big and aggressive compared to Aspins which are smaller and leaner and mostly used as companions or pets. They have, however, a reputation to be excellent hunters, making them a perfect complementary MWD. Basically, they are already hunters uh, uh, since they are small. So, because uh, these uh, small dogs or these puppies, uh, they accompany their mother, while their mother accompany the owner in hunting uh, forest animals. So, and. Uh, they are uh, basically easy to be maintained and uh, easy to be procured. So compared to the compared to the hybrid, to the imported dogs, they are easy to be maintained and uh, to be procured, and uh, they can easily adapt to the environment or the harsh weather of the country. Canines have worked side by side with their handlers and are acknowledged as force multipliers. Well, the, uh, the best way that I can put it for the, the dogs being such an asset to the military is if there was a machine that could replicate what they would do, uh, we would have it. <laughs> but we, there's nothing that can replicate the, uh, the sensory capabilities that a dog has. So um, it's really proven its worth uh, tenfold with the, the wars that we've been fighting the last uh, 12 years. It, um, and it's caused uh, our military to invest heavily in improving it and uh, making it a priority moving forward. And the, uh, from talking to our friends from the Philippines, their, their program as well is uh, paying a lot of dividends on what their mission is. Military working dogs from different countries have proven their worth in accomplishing the different missions of the military. That is why conducting training such as this, especially between allies like the United States and the Philippines, will continue. Reporting from Schofield Barracks here in Hawaii, this is Desa Senas for Eagle News.